Hi everyone, it's Danny. In this video, I want to talk about flower arrangements with orchids. Um, this is a very touchy subject for some of us because, um, you know, when you grow them, you don't really want to see their beautiful stems cut and placed in a vase. But there are so, so many arrangements with orchids and sometimes you do want to make a special arrangement for a, for a dinner or something special and you want to incorporate orchids or your own orchids. Uh, for it. But anyway, um, in this uh, in this video I want to present you a bouquet made out of a dendrobium type of orchid. This is a dendrobium phalaenopsis sonia. And this is one of the most popular cut flower orchids you can find here. I know it since I was a child. And I've always looked for it, even in online stores, and never found it, unfortunately. But I get to enjoy a few bouquets with it. Now this dendrobium will last you in this vase for about a few months really and if you're lucky the buds will open as well. It's a very very good flower or plant for uh, using in arrangements or bouquets because it will stay very nice. Uh, well this bouquet is a little worse for wear but it will it will stay very nice in water, it will not start to droop and it will last you a long time. So yeah, if you are if you know this orchid and you were looking for it for a lot of time and you didn't know the name, Dendrobium sonia, look for that and you will find it. Maybe you'll be luckier than me and you'll actually find the actual plant um, for you to grow. Anyway, if you're thinking of making some arrangements with orchids and you're not sure what type of orchids you should use, I would really recommend the Drobium phalaenopsis types because they do last for ages in a vase. Also, Cymbidiums, um, phalaenopsis themselves, although they're not so easy to find in bouquets, and Vanda orchids. If you're thinking of trying Miltoniopsis or even some Oncidiums, for an arrangement, don't, because uh, most probably you'll have um, a very droopy and poor looking plant by the end of the day. So if you're thinking of making a dinner party or something and putting your own flowers in vases or doing some arrangements with Miltoniopsis type orchids, don't do it. <laughs> it's pure suicide. They will not last a day. Unfortunately, if you change their medium, most often they will drop. So yeah. Anyway, a funny thing about this particular dendrobium, it is very, very used in Hawaii, as far as I know. They make those little, um, I don't know how to call them, I'll just call them necklaces, uh, made of um, only the flowers without the stems. And also reading about it on the internet, I found out that in some um, Asian restaurants, they use them as garnish. So they're edible for, um, for people who want to try something new don't try to eat them at home okay because there's a lot of stuff on the internet and you never know if it's true or not until you actually try it so don't try to eat <laughs> the flowers at home but anyway it's a funny fact if you want to read more into it you can um, google it see if it's really true it was just something i read alrighty so yeah this is it about um, about cut flowers and flower arrangements with orchids if you want to try something for a special event, these are the types that I would definitely recommend. Dendrobium, Cymbidiums, Vanda Orchids, and Phalaenopsis. Any other type, I will really uh, doubt it will last. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video. And if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe because I got more on the way. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.